I'm Christine with Sassy Southern Home. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, I would appreciate very much if you would tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get any um, notices of when I upload. I upload at least once a week. Um, I'm going to try to start doing more, but at least once a week right now. Um, and if you have watched me before, I appreciate you for coming back. And if you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe that helps out a lot anyhow um, today we are going to be talking about spa bathrooms uh, if you've been to nice hotels or if you've been to an actual spa or if you've just looked through magazines HGTV I love HGTV you see those nice bathrooms they create and it um, just serenity is peaceful it's calming and you just want to get in there and spend some time and that's a place for you when you do your baths, and I am a bath person. I really do like a bath. Um, just to take your time and enjoy it, wind down a little bit. Um, but anyhow, we're going to be talking about that today. I'm going to post some pictures of some bathrooms from different magazines that I found online or whatever the case may be. And then I'm going to show you my bathroom before. And then I'm going to just take into consideration some of the things we're going to talk through and show you my bathroom after, after I've applied some of these that I had not already applied. But um, thank you for joining me and please continue watching. So several years ago, I got to thinking we didn't have an ensuite and I kept seeing all these home improvement shows and they would build these grand en suites and so I got to thinking we had a bedroom next to our bedroom that never got used because it was next to my bedroom and when my daughter was little her bedroom was at the opposite end of the house and her playroom and all that that way she just wasn't up on it just some separation she just wasn't up on me she had her own space um so I had this bathroom this bedroom sorry next to my bedroom that really never got used um so i started thinking i want that to be our master bath and our closet because our closet space was kind of limited so my husband thought i was crazy but he said okay well you think it up and you draw it up and let me look at the plans and we'll see what we can do so we're kind of hands-on people. We like to think we can tackle anything. And, and usually if you find out, you got to believe in yourself. You, you can do stuff that you wouldn't think you could do. So I came up with design. So piece by piece over the years, we built our dream master bath. And we've loved it since day one. And because we put all the work into it ourselves, that really makes you appreciate. I mean, we did the tile, we did the flooring, we, we did everything. So, um, but as you keep watching home improvement shows, which is my downfall because I really do like them. And of course, they have all these grand ideas every year. But... I wanted it to be more and more like a spa and we would go to our, our timeshare at different places and there were always this, you know, these, these nice bathrooms and they just, just were calming. And as, like I said, we were so satisfied with ours. We loved it and I still love it to this day, but there were some things that we could add as well. So if you're not building a bathroom, don't, don't worry about that. You don't have to build a bathroom. There's some little steps you can do, and I've implemented some of these myself as I've done my research on this to make your bathroom a place for you. Now, your master bath, if you do have um, the privilege, opportunity, whatever, to have a bathroom, you know, to yourselves away from your kids or guests or whatever, that, that's a that's a place for you to unwind and enjoy. And, I'm, and I love coming to my bath and... Sometimes I like my candles and I'm usually looking at my phone or looking at magazines. It's just a place for me to wind down, um, relax, and just get away from everything. It, it, it's just there's something calming about taking your time. And even if you're not a bathtub person, um, just taking a nice warm shower and just enjoy that space. And there's little things to do. We're going to share those to help you enjoy your space. 
All right, so we're going to go through these, and I don't know if my light's doing something weird back here, but I've got lots of sunlight today. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a little chilly, but it's um, sun's very pretty. But um, I have pulled the curtains closed because I'm not sure if it's the trees, the limbs dancing or what. But anyhow, pardon if something's going on weird about there. So, after doing some research and looking online and looking through some magazines and um, just compiling some ideas, here we go. Your spa bathroom on a budget, okay? Think, um, incorporate some natural decor or whatever have you, but just put something wood material into your space. Now, we have an accent wall that I did find this shiplap. Um, it doesn't join, but it was um, shiplap pieces from Lowe's a couple years ago and created an accent wall out of that. And I, I, I love the wood, but incorporate some wood. Um, if you're a bath caddy and you need to watch my other video, uh, Reimagine, Repurpose, can't think of all the name of it, but anyhow, I'll show you where I'm making my bath caddy. Um, but do a bathtub caddy. You, you, you don't think you need it. But if you look at your phone in the bathtub or if you like to look at the magazine, and I used to think that was weird, but it's not weird. That's relaxing in the bathtub. Get you a, a bath caddy. Um, your elements, your, your dresser, just some wood and leave some pieces wood stain. Um, a shower seat. Uh, we've got one. It's, it's outside of our shower. It's supposed to be able to withstand the water, but I, our shower, it's a nice size, but it's not huge, so I, I just don't want to get it wet, and I, I don't want to deal with it. It's supposed to be able to get wet. It is teak wood, but um, I, I, I don't use it in the shower. It's outside the shower. We put our towels there when we shower, and it holds my um, hair products when I get through. But just think some wood items, wood shelves, what have you. Just think natural plants whether you um put fake plants or real plants and i've got one i just bought this is a fake plant and i'm going to try a real plant i don't do real well with indoor plants but we're going to try it and see um uh, the lighting is supposed to be good for it um so we're just going to see how i do with that thing and i might have to shift a little bit in the room but uh, we're going to see how we do but plants, so plants are good for you anyhow because they give us the oxygen we need to breathe. They kind of filter the air too. So incorporate some natural materials. Okay. I'm having to kind of look through my notes just to make sure I stay on track. Declutter. And I had this problem, and if you watch my before video clip of my bathroom, you'll kind of see my vanity. There was, you know, all your bath needs up on my vanity and when you see spa bathrooms, there's not much on the vanity and it really doesn't need to be there. And whatever you put on your vanity, try to present it. Kind of like a present. Present it. Make it pretty. Um, glass containers, glass jars. Again, watch my previous video because you'll see the, the jars that are on my counter afterwards. We, 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 we made those. We didn't make the jar, but we made we did the lids. Um, our mouthwash is in a um, oil and vinegar bottle. Just declutter. You got to have essentials up there because obviously I can't just put that mouthwash container in a drawer. And you know you need Q-tips, you need cotton balls, you need whatever. But I'm putting away my toothbrushes. I'm putting caps on them, putting in a drawer. They don't need to be out. Nobody needs to look at that. Your hairbrushes, they don't need to be out. Your soap, if you can, put it in a pretty container. Um, just declutter, okay? Think about whatever you can store somewhere, store it. Uh, and that comes to, again, storage. Make sure you have plenty of storage in your bathroom. If your vanity's not large, is there a space for you to put a nightstand? an end table, uh, chest of drawers. You don't have to use, and that's the whole thing, is you don't have to use conventional bath items. 
That goes for anywhere in your house. You can use anything that you want that serves that purpose in that space. Okay? So, your towels. Let's talk about your towels. Okay, I thought my towels were nice. They are nice. They're real plush. They were Liz Claiborne. And this isn't true in all spaces because I've seen some bathrooms and magazines that had darker towels. But in mine were dark. They were gray. They were navy. But most of the spaces you see, they're white or cream. They're light colored towels. If you really want to get all bougie, get you some monogram towels and put them out, I, I'm not going to use those. So I traded out for some white towels and I think it really does make a difference. But when you buy your towels, 100% cotton or bamboo, you want them plush. You want them when you wash them, they're going to stay plush and you want them absorbent. Uh, you don't want a towel that you're going to use and you still feel kind of damp afterwards. You want it absorbent and you want it to be able to dry out well. So think cotton or bamboo for that. Clean. Keep your bathroom clean. Now, I clean my bathroom every week. But as I was getting ready for this video, I'm looking around going, oh, my baseboards are kind of nasty. And that's not something I'm going to do every week. But I did take the time to do the baseboards. Wipe down your spaces. You know, the more items you have, the more dust you're going to have to collect. So just make sure to wipe everything down. But just make sure your bathroom's clean. Clean your sinks, your tub, your shower. If you have shower glass doors, my number one tip, my husband do this, and I do this every time we take a shower. We have a squeegee in there. $3. I'm sure it's $5 under, whatever. We, every time we take a shower, we wipe those doors down. That keeps from those doors getting all grungy, your soap residue on there. Now, every probably every two, three weeks, I will get my glass cleaner and clean those real good. But for the most part, your squeegee's going to do it for you. So just keep everything cleaned down real good. And shower heads. So when we did ours, we went for a nicer shower head. Um, we we talked about doing the rainfall shower head from the ceiling, but then that meant running plumbing up over the into the attic space, and I didn't want to do that. I just didn't want to get into all that. Those are gorgeous. If you've got that opportunity, those are gorgeous. But we didn't want to get into all that. We talked about it, and then we said no. So, but we did get a larger shower head. I don't know how many clicks it is, um, five or six. But you, there is one with a rainfall effect or just waterfall effect. It just all comes out. And then there's different sprays. Most of the time it stays on the same spray, but there are times where, you know, if my muscles are aching or whatever, I'll throw it on something other else because I want it to hit those points a little bit harder. So shower head, that's a nice little easy chain, change for you to make. Color, think color in your space. Um... Again, I've seen bathrooms that were gorgeous with dark colors, uh, some of them wallpapered. Um, I tend to now like the lighter colors. I, I want my bathroom space to be able to take in the sunlight if I'm here in the, the daytime. Um, I'm putting on my makeup in the mornings at the vanity. Now I have vanity mirrors, one that's lighted. But I still like the sunlight trickling in. Uh, or at night, I like, I have a chandelier in my bathroom, which is another point. If you have the space or if you can put a chandelier, don't put it directly over your bathtub. That's not safe. But if you could put a chandelier in there, put a chandelier in there, it just takes it up a notch. Um, but I like for the light on it to reflect off the walls. I, um that looks like little rainbows to me, little prisms of colors. So I like it light, but just color. We soft muted colors and colors inspired by nature, I think work best. And according to what I've studied, that works best. Upgrade your toiletries. Um, again, 
use trays or stands to display items, pretty jars, pretty containers. You're gonna have to have containers to put stuff in anyhow, by your tub or by your shower or whatever. So just make it prettier. Take it out of whatever it comes in. You know, your Dr. Till's Epsom salt, take it out of that and throw it in something. Your bath bombs, put them in something. They, it, it, just make it pretty for you to enjoy. You just wanna enjoy this space. That's what this is all about, enjoying your space. Storage. Again, make sure you just got plenty of storage and think unconventional ideas. Um, my vanity area that I have is, um, I don't know if it's considered an old vanity. We got it from an antique store. Is it an antique? I don't know. It's little, but it's not something that normally somebody would think as a vanity area, but I like it. It's pretty. It makes me feel good. Um, just don't let, don't go to a big box store and think that whatever they have in their aisles is what you got to have in your bathroom because that's not necessarily the truth. You, you, you can use anything in your space and you can make it look good. All right. And here's some little things. A bidet. My husband's wanted one. I hope you don't get mad at me for telling y'all this. I always thought it's kind of odd. So for Christmas, I got him one. He installed it here in our ensuite. I like it. That's just another level of clean, but I like it. A bidet, add you some artwork. You'll see mine hanging on the wall when you check out my video here. Add some artwork and um, if you're into DIY, do your own artwork. That way you can sit back and look at something while you're taking your bath or your maybe your shower, if it's across from your shower wall, you can look at something you've created and appreciate that. Gold accents. Um, I don't have much gold in here. My little mirrors are gold. Um, a couple items I have in here are gold. Most of my stuff is the more along the chrome lines. And that's because... That's what I found at the antique store for my tub, and that was a, a true faucet, original faucet for my coffee tub. So I, that's where I went with most of my um, my faucets and stuff. But um, and I don't mind mixing metals. Mix metals. Add you some gold. Add you some iron. You know anything. Mix metals. Don't be intimidated by mixing metals. Um, you're your knobs on anything that you have. I've changed all mine up. What was originally on my dresser, um, they're pl probably plastic, but they look glass. And when the light comes in the room again, it reflects it and it throws prisms of light everywhere. Change up your knobs on anything. Candles, of course, if you take a bath or whatever, just be careful. Now I think they have little floating candles on Amazon that you can put in your tub that are battery operated. I, I don't know that I want something floating by me in my tub other than my bubbles, my bubble bath. But I, I do like to light a candle every once in a while, put it on my bath caddy or put it on the, the little stand next to me. Um, sometimes turn off all the lights and just light my candles and enjoy my space. Aromatherapy. So scent is linked to a feeling of calm. I do like to buy the aromatherapy line from Bath and Body Works. Um, I like Dr. Teal's, the, the smell of their stuff. Um, so scents, anything that makes you feel calm and relaxed, that's what you wanna do to get your spa bath. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, again, Please subscribe. I'm getting a lot of views out there, but not everybody's subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and follow me along. Any comments, let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.